Locals know all the best spots in Vegas. When they're looking for the best cannabis at the best price, they don't go just anywhere. They hit up the dispensary. All the best cannabis brands, the best prices, and the best deals in town. With locations in Vegas and Henderson open seven days a week, you'll never have far to go for the hookup. Great cannabis at the best price is kind of our thing. Just ask a local. Visit us at thedispensaryNV.com. Keep out of the reach of children. For use only by adults 21 years of age and older. There once was a dad who set out on a great quest to find the perfect Coke flavors at his family's request. So he went into a local store and grabbed the Coke Cherry Vanilla, Coke Cherry, and more. At dinner, they sipped Coke flavors and rejoiced, for everyone made their own delicious choice. Coca-Cola flavors, unbelievably delicious. With so many delicious Coca-Cola flavors and Coca-Cola Zero Sugar flavors options to choose from, you'll have to taste them all. Nearly a $2 trillion budget hit, gasoline prices rising, inflation on the horizon, illegal immigrants storming across the border, dropping our defenses with regard to Iran, undercutting Israel. I can go on and on and on and on. It is truly a crisis. And what do we see, despite the fact that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, the leftist radicals that have destroyed the country in just a month and a half, what do we hear from the Republican Party? Just talk. Tom Cotton, Lindsey Graham, the rest of them. Just talk. Ask yourself this question. What have they ever done in the near past or even the middle past? Obamacare now bigger than ever, thanks to the $1.9 trillion bill that just passed the Senate. It'll soon be passed by the House. They've accomplished nothing, absolutely nothing. In fact, all they accomplished was losing to the Democrats. They certainly won that award. It is time for a new political party. President Trump has thrown his lot with the loser Republicans. He did that probably because he wants cover because this rabid leftist prosecutor in New York City, Cyrus Vance, is about ready to indict him for alleged tax fraud and tax evasion. Other things are on the horizon. As much as we thank President Trump, we need to move on. We need to move on from the Republican Party. The fact that he's tied himself to them means that we're in a losing proposition here as the left continues its march to total takeover of this country. It has already taken over the country. There's no doubt about it. Not just that, they took over the culture. Dr. Seuss is now banned. Curious George is now banned because he's a monkey. We've got sports leagues who have thrown in their lot to the radical leftists. They go with the winner. They think that'll scratch their backs. We have big tech, which continues to censor. We have labor unions. We have big law firms that didn't even have the courage to defend President Trump. Every man for himself, as the left takes a complete control over your life. We have now been enslaved in a gulag. We have a narrative that January 6th was just a bunch of criminals, when in fact, this was the American people that were rising up at the rank corruption in all three branches of government, culminated with a fraudulent election. You can't even say these things on conservative media anymore. If you do, you get banned or censored by conservatives. Conservative websites are not letting you say these things. Conservative websites are afraid of the pushback of the left. So yours truly, Larry Klayman, not only is going to start his own media company, and I look to people to contribute to that because Fox News is a complete joke. It's worse than a joke. Now the head of it, An ultra leftist, Lachlan Murdoch, says, oh, we're right of center. You know why he's right of center? You know why they're now positioning themselves that way after they cut the legs out from President Trump during the election and in the aftermath? Because their rankings sunk lower than MSNBC and even CNN. (laughs) Friends of convenience. We don't need friends of convenience. We don't need summer soldiers and sunshine patriots. We need true American heroes, people that will stand up, that will risk everything to save the vision and creation of our founding fathers. And now the Democrats are about ready to pass legislation 
that'll make sure that voting fraud is now ensconced in our system forever. Forget about ever <clears throat> having another Republican president. Of course, who cares? We don't want a Republican president. What a bunch of losers. We need not just to have our own media, but we need to have our own political party. And forget about this concept, oh, we're going to dilute the Republican vote. Well, what, what difference does it make? You can't elect Republicans. It'll do anything anyway. So what are you worried about the Republican Party for? I'm forming a new political party, and I'll be announcing the name of it in the next few days. It's going to be a separate organization from Freedom Watch. It'll be kept separate. But the American people need to rise up, and we're going to exercise that new political party at the Third Continental Congress, which we're calling for Memorial Day of this year in Philadelphia, the city where it all began, my birthplace as well, across from Independence Hall. We're going to form a new government. Let the criminals stay in Washington and commit crimes against themselves. I'm tired of hearing them. I don't want to see their face. I don't, I don't care for the fraud anymore. You talk about fraud in the election. The Republican Party is a total fraud. Total fraud. All they do is talk. Oh, we're promising this. We're going to do that. We're going to have more hearings. Well, ask yourself, all their hearings, not one of the criminals were held to account. Not Comey, not Clapper, not Brennan, not McCabe, not the Bidens, not Clintons, not the Obamas, not anybody. No one was held accountable because it's a giant bazaar in Washington to see. I was going to use another word, but I want to keep it clean. Giant bazaar where they just divvy everything up, enrich themselves, stuffing money into their pockets. Money changers, the temple. The temple. Well, you know what God did to the temple? He destroyed the temple. And we're going to do it peacefully and legally. Read my book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. Read the Declaration of Independence. When in the course of human events, the ruler no longer represents the people. We have a God-given right under the laws of nature and nature's God to alter and abolish that government and to form a new government. That's what we need to do. And we need citizens' grand juries. We're going to be seeking the indictment of Biden, his son Hunter, and his brother Frank in and around March 17th. It may slip a few days because of various things that are going on right now, but it's going to be done by March 20th. They'll be indicted and we'll try them. We'll seek their conviction and we'll seek to mete out the sentences peacefully and legally. We need to rise up. Conservatives can't be afraid. I've had two columns censored by conservative media just in the last two weeks because they're afraid. They want to put their head in the sand. They don't want to stick their neck out. Well, American people better stick their neck out because if they don't stick their neck out, then we will be living in slavery. There is no Moses right now. The Moses will come forward. I hope to lead the people to the promised land along with you, the superheroes, with Freedom Watch's Justice League. Go to freedomwatchusa.org, but there need to be others as well. And someone will emerge. We need to nominate a new president of the stature of a Ronald Reagan who has class, who can represent more than just 50% of the people, who can explain to them why they need to follow him or her to the promised land. We need a new Congress, not a bunch of court jesters, clowns, and criminals. We need new federal judges who aren't bought and paid for by special interests, and we can see what they did. President Trump's own judges stabbed him in the back, as well as Supreme Court justices. We need a new government. So stay tuned, fellow patriots. Now is the time to try men's souls. We must rise up we must do it peacefully and legally. We must wage the second American revolution. So read my book, It Takes a Revolution. I have a plan. It's a starting plan. It's not the be all and end all, but it tells you straight up. All these other books that are on the market, it just talks about the horror stories of the last several years and then says nothing, absolutely zip. I have a plan and you need a plan. And I look forward to hearing from you. You can communicate with me at L.E. Clayman at gmail.com. If you have any thoughts, please share them. God bless you. God bless your family. Now is the time to rise up. It is already too late. The country is dead. We need to revive it. We need to bring it back. We need to resurrect it. With the help of the Messiah and the Father, we will do so. But remember, those who help those, those who God helps those that help themselves. If you sit there, to sit on the couch and watch Sean Hannity 
this country is over. God bless you. God bless your family. I'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast. And until then, thank you for listening to me. Locals know the dispensary has all the best cannabis brands and prices in town. With locations in Vegas and Henderson open seven days a week, you'll never have far to go for the hookup. Great cannabis at the best price? Kind of our thing. Keep out of reach of children. Use only by adults 21 years of age and older. New Extra Charge Hot and Nice Coffee from Dunkin' is made with 20% extra caffeine from green coffee extract because we could all use a little extra this year. Whether that's an extra boost, some extra boldness, or the drive to go the extra mile. We're extra ready for whatever comes our way and extra excited to take it on. Let's get it done with a medium extra charged coffee from Dunkin' for $2 with 20% more caffeine. And pair it with snackable stuffed bagel minis for an added all-day boost. Order ahead on the Dunkin' app. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Limited time offer.